In this screencast, I would like to talk about the graph view in JProfiles HeapWalker. The graph view is different from all other views in the HeapWalker in that it does not operate on the current object set, but you have to explicitly add instances from other views, such as from the biggest objects view or from the references view. The incoming references view, for example, is great for analyzing paths to garbage collector routes that's very appropriately done in a tree here. But if you have situations where you would like to understand reference cycles, such as designated by these yellow nodes here, then that is better done in a graph because ultimately the heap is a graph and not a tree. And you can show objects in the graph by selecting any number of objects and then clicking on this Show in Graph button. You can see that manually added nodes are shown with a blue background. And here you can see back references. And let's open the incoming references to this standard wrapper valve object. And we see that there are multiple chains of references that lead to the same object. And that's something that's not readily visible in the tree. And the graph is a far superior tool to analyze these kinds of problems. Now let's add another object from a different object set to the graph. And for that, we go to the HeapWalker overview where we see all the classes. Let's add the JMX MBean server instance to the graph. This is just a protection against showing too many incoming references. And you can see the JMX Ambient Server instance is shown with a blue background. The standard pipeline object that we've added before has a lighter background because it's older. The JMX Ambient Server has been added more recently. Now I can ask the question, how does the standard pipeline object reference the JMX MBean server object or vice versa? And uh, let's zoom out a little here. I can select the standard pipeline object first, then select the JMX MBean server object, and then click on Find Path between two selected nodes. And the Path Search Options dialog is shown. And it offers me the possibility to search for a directed path, references always in the same direction, from the first selected to the second selected object, then vice versa, and also for an undirected path, which is useful for finding a common ancestor in a reference hierarchy. But we leave the options as they are and click on OK, and a path is found, and it's shown in red. Now the only way to get rid of the objects in the graph view is to either take a new heap snapshot or to clear the graph, which is what I'm doing now. Another important use case for this find path between selected nodes functionality is to understand more about transitive references in the biggest objects view of the heap walker. And so we go to the biggest objects view for all objects on the heap and we look at this registry class here, we can see that a lot of its children have transitive references. What does that mean? A transitive reference between this registry instance here and its managed MBean child means that there are multiple intermediate reference chains that together retain the managed MBean, but no single one of those reference chains actually retains the managed MBean instance. That's the property of the dominator tree that parent nodes always retain their child nodes. So the intermediate references here are not shown. And to find one of those reference chains between the registry and the managed MBean instance, you have to select both instances and show them in the graph. Let's zoom out a little again. Then we select the registry instance first, and then the managed MBean instance second, and then we find the path between the two selected nodes. And here we can see, highlighted in red, one of those intermediate paths that make up the transitive reference. 